Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going to be testing out the new Beauty Bay's Sunset Horizons palette. I have also just recently filmed another video so if my eyes seem a slight like tingy green colour because I've had to take the eyeshadow off and then reapply my primer but that will be covered by eyeshadow so we'll just fix it that way. Anyway, so today we're going to be testing this out so let's get on to this video. <music> So this palette retails for £15 with 20 shades, which I think is an amazing price point. I think that Beauty Bay have really like upped their game with their shadows recently. So I wanted to test out this palette. So the kind of shades that I want to play around for you guys, it's going to be like the top like two rows. Nearly dropping it. Because I feel like I just want an orangey, reddy, yellow kind of look on my eye because I just, I'm feeling it. I do really enjoy that it has a big mirror. I feel like a lot of the high-end palettes don't have big mirrors and I mean, it, it becomes a pain in the bum for me, especially when I'm filming. I do want like a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing one eye off camera and one eye on camera. So let's get on to adding the shadows. I do want to create a look that kind of is like winged out but it's got like a full cut crease and then like a liner and everything so that's the look that i'm kind of going for today so let me quickly just blend out my creases today's primer as usual i use the xx revolution concealer i really enjoy how this looks and it sticks to the eyelid really well and it sticks the shadows really well because it's really tacky so i'm gonna go in with a packer brush I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm going to pack the pink colour on the like top part of my eye. Let's see how this looks. Oh, straight as pigment. She there. She is there. This colour is the shade Flamingo. So I'm just going to bring that in the shape that I want it. Just blending it upwards as I go because I do want to go in with like orange shades and yellow shades and blend it really. At the moment these shadows are working effortlessly. I feel like Beauty Bay recently, especially with their shadow, they've changed their formula or something because it's just getting better and better and I'm kind of living for it. The shade is actually really pretty. So as you can see I'm kind of like stamping the colour in like a like S shape. So we're going to start from down here and up here. So I'm gonna have to cut my crease that way. Stamping on the colour as always. But as you can see, that colour is now packed on. I can now go in and try and buff out the edges just by like patting the shadow about really. It's really blending out really easy. It's just so quick. Quick and easy and efficient. I'm loving it. So now that shade is like partially blended out, I do want to blend it out with another colour. So I'm gonna go in and blend it with <coughs> a small little Morphe blending brush. And I'm gonna go in to the shade Sorbet. I think that's Sorbet. Blend the pink out with that. We're gonna be creating a sunset look because, honey, it is a sunset palette. So the next color I'm gonna go in with, with the same brush, because it like blends quite easily. I'm gonna go in with this reef color, which is like this proper like orange, orange color. So I'm gonna blend that orange with this orange, just on the edges. Okay, let's fall out of the shed. I think I do wanna deepen up the cut crease bit with a bit of purple, just to probably give it that sunset. Ooh. Yeah, this shade's a little bit hit and miss. Like it's pretty, but it's not as pigmented as I want it. It's blending out, but it's also blending out to nothing. Okay, that shade isn't my favorite. Let me tell you that one now. But this is looking pretty. So then I'm gonna go in with the shade Zest, which is the bright yellow from the palette. And I'm just gonna put that on my brush. Yeah, let's fall out with these really like light colors. There's like a lot, there's a lot of that going on. So I'm literally just gonna put this yellow on the inner part here, on the brow bone and like on the outer bit here, just to like blend it out and make it look really pretty. Like I'm barely even touching it and it's got so much like, that's what's come onto the brush, like. Yeah, not my favorite. It seems very hard to work with. Yeah, it's doing the same thing as the orange did. 
they're not my favorite because look that seems so pigmented until like i've put it on my actual eye and it just dusts nowhere and it's clung to the end of my eyebrow right there in that little patch i don't like those shades it's just that um shade zest and brief i feel like they're just really pastel like like shades i'm just not loving them at all i do want to deepen out my crease with the purple in this which is called hibiscus just to give it like that sunset feel so i'm going with the packer brush i'm just gonna dip into that shade yeah that shade's a lot less fallouty i feel like the deeper shades are just a lot better so proper putting that into my inner socket where like my cut crease is gonna be okay that wasn't as pigmented as i wanted it but to be honest i didn't put it straight onto a sticky base so that was my fault just plating that like shade down i don't know if it's me but like i'm not really a hundred percent of this palette yeah there's fallout all over my face <laughs> like underneath my eye here you can see like there's pink here there's all just under my eye that's not nice no like they're just not working as well so as soon as i go to move it Like I'm blending it into the pink. It's blending. This is looking so patchy. I kind of wish this to go better. I think I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I use for the pink. And I'm just gonna kind of blend them two together and see what happens. I feel like that helped a lot. But that purple in the pan looks so much deeper than it does on my eye. Like it looks pretty now, but like look. I don't know if you can see, but it's just it's just not moving. I really wanted it to like this palette. Like it's just there, like it's going patchy. I'm not liking how this looks. No. I feel like I'm gonna go cut my crease and see what it looks like and then. I feel like I might feel a little bit better about this. So let me do that. Now I've cut my crease. It has like deepened out like the way I do my crease, like it does look pretty. I just kind of want to see what it looks like in the end and get my view from there because at the moment I'm not completely loving how it looks, but maybe it will come together at the end because we do have a process to go through. The next thing I kind of want to do is I want to create a like a wing and I don't know what shade to do it with. I do want to go in with this like shimmer shade. Like that yellow looks to die for. Is she pretty oh my god yellow gold oh yes i want that on my lid do we do that yeah i think we're gonna do that i'm gonna grab this small packing brush and just kind of dip into the shade oh it picks up quite easily that's pretty good i feel like i just want to go in my finger i don't know this eye is just looking a mess because I've never really had this much trouble with a palette. But the last palette I had this much trouble with was the Jack and Hill Volume 2 palette and I ended up just selling it and I was just like, no, I don't want it in my collection. I don't know what the frick is going on. I'm really not liking this. I want to give up. Can we just start again? I seriously don't know what to do. I don't know, the shades that I've just used just aren't really working and it makes me really upset. We have to fix this because I'm not having it. I'm really not having it. It makes me really upset. I wanted this palette to work and it isn't and it's starting to upset me and stress me out basically. Do you know what? I've had it, I've had it, I've had it, I've had it, I've had it. I'm really doing this video. See this is what I mean, okay? If you don't like an eye, I will completely wipe it off. If the shadows aren't working in the way I've tried to use them, I will completely wipe it off and we're gonna try it again. So hopefully it works a lot better this time, but I'm just gonna go prime my eye because I just want to get this over and done with now because it's kind of annoying me and it's upsetting me. And my eyes start to feel really sore. So now I've primed my eyelid once again and now it's just looking pink because now my eyelid is stained pink. We are gonna go, go back into this palette and i'm gonna use it differently and i'm just gonna tr try and create like a look that looks pretty 
and if it doesn't work this time I'm not gonna re recommend a palette that's just not working first shade I kind of want to go into is I still do want to use this flamingo shade because it was actually a pretty good shade we're just gonna create like a halo eye and if it doesn't like like halos which is like one of the simplest makeup looks like this shade pretty stain my eyelid but pretty like she's there she's blending i have no problem with this shade i feel like it's the lighter shades that are chalky and aren't showing up and the purple didn't work for me so i want to retry it so i know it's like the palette and not just me there isn't really an inner corner shade in this palette like at all like, i wish there was an inner corner shade so i'm gonna use a different like pastel shade and i'm gonna go in with this one that's dusk and see if this does okay this one hasn't got as much fallout like when i tucked the yellow and the orange it literally just fell onto my brush so we're just gonna pop that on there I'm just gonna try and blend out the paint it's actually quite pigmented she pigmented she's a baby pink so she should blend out this color quite easily if not something's wrong but that is like winged to the gods to be honest it's working a lot better now okay we've used different shades we're working with what the palette is saying to us basically it's saying don't use the, like the yellow and the orange these two just didn't work the purple wouldn't stick and it just went patchy those two shades work a dream together but for like an eye like this you want like a pinky shimmer shade you have an orange which isn't gonna work you have a yellow which may work but that would just be hard to blend you have a black which isn't gonna work can we just elaborate that we have a blue absolutely stunning i think this is the same shade that's in the nikki tesoro palette like pretty as hell but <sighs> why do we need so many oranges because i'm wearing pink right now thing is do i deepen out this and then try and like put another color in the middle we could try that okay let me try and deepen out with using the black shade which is midnight this shade here not a lot of fallout but it looks very pigmented see look even on top of shadows that has stuck the purple just it didn't want to stick i spoke too soon yeah patchy come on yeah it's not willing to blend either not too bad okay we have kind of like been able to work with that it's a tiny bit patchy but it doesn't look too bad that i can deal with okay we're gonna go back into that bit shade and go in okay it's not going patchy yeah you know what look there how pigmented that looks okay that looks good that looks great like i like that this we're gonna have to make it look the same the shadows have literally just been like okay maybe we'll work for you today we've caused you enough pain okay that's kind of like a cute little like spooky look can i just say to you guys if you are creating a look and you don't like how it looks it's okay to wipe it off because working with something that's just not gonna work, like look good in the end it's not good it's gonna frustrate you it's gonna get you angry so it's gonna be a lot easier and a lot more stre less stressful for you if you just wipe it off and start again like how many looks i've wiped off and started again shades i can go in with i want so i say yellow we'll put the yellow on the thing but we're gonna try the yellow again basically i'm gonna put it on my finger i'm gonna try and put it in the center see it looks pretty it just didn't want to be put on with a brush we are getting places okay so just blending the shades all together basically advice for you when using this palette um these two shades are just they were chalky that's the tea on it this one went patchy as hell but i don't know why so i don't know i think i'm gonna have to play around with it a lot more just to figure out why it's doing that um the black 
definitely workable it's applied on top of another shade like that's what i can ask for like it looks like this whilst i place it on top of the pink when i wanted to change my decision so that is that eye i think that looks pretty like hello it's stunning so i'm gonna quickly do my underneath of my eye and i'm gonna grab the black shade first uh the underneath underneath of my eye is set so let's see how it works oh, we're going in with the pink yeah the pink is a little bit struggling to stick onto my under eye that's something to basically think about when applying eyeshadows definitely use a base on the under eye for this one but that is basically one eye but this is the problem that i have okay this palette has a good color scheme like it's pretty it's good it's a sunset light eye but there is no inner corner shades like you can change one of these yellows like this yellow to an inner corner shade because that yellow is basically the same as the one next to it so why can't it be an inner corner shade because now i'm just stuck with no inner corner so i'm just gonna have to go in with highlight i blew the highlighter and all the crumbles of highlight that was on top just blew straight into my face and into my eye now i've got highlighter all over my face this is a great video so I'm gonna quickly go off camera, I'm gonna do the other eye, hopefully it goes pretty good and then I'm gonna put some lashes on and I'll be back with the final look. Hi guys, I am now back with both eyes done and <clears throat> my lashes on. The lashes I'm wearing are my usual favourite which are the My My Lashes in 911. They're just really big and fluffy and I love them. But um, about the palette, okay. So I love how the look came out. I love how pretty it looks. There are some shades in this palette which do not work for me personally, but may work for other people. There are some shades in this palette that have come off patchy, but I do want to actually sit down and play with this palette again and see whether it, the problem is me or the problem is the actual palette. But there are a lot of shades that I literally hit with the brush and they went like full on pigment. like that is one hit that like, i fully just showed you that is one hit and it's just straight up on there and then as soon as you put it on anywhere it's basically gone so i don't know what the hell that's all about it's the same the orange no the orange isn't as hitty but the orange you pick up properly that's fine but it shows up that's quite pretty like that actually shows up but it wasn't my favorite but the yellow in this palette literally just hitting it and getting that instant like fallout pigment everywhere like there is so much product on there and it's still pigment like hit it once tap it off about 18 different times and it's still there like i get it there's having pigment but that shade just in particular is just really chalky like if you can tell it's just it's just chalky as hell and i i don't like it at all like that is a shade i won't be dipping into all the other shades that i seem to pick like pick up they seem fine the purple i want to sit down and play with this separately and see if it's just me problem or not but i feel like i just kind of got a mixed review about this palette i'm not like in love with it like it created a, a pretty look like it has it's created a pretty like spooky look and i enjoy how it looks but do i enjoy every shade in this palette that I've tried today, no. Have I had to retry and wipe off a whole entire eye because it was just not working? Yes. That is the reality of this palette. It's 15 pounds. If you think you can work with this, definitely buy it. There are a few shades in this palette which are actually really nice. Like They're genuinely really nice shades. But I also do think that these shades that are in this palette can be found in other palettes that are maybe a bit better. To be honest, I'm really upset that I actually don't really like this. It's because all my other Beauty Pro palettes that I've like tested out recently, I've loved them. Like I've been in love with them. But for me to just not like this one, it upsets me a little bit because I love Beauty Bay and I love like their shades and everything. But I will be picking this up to play with it again. Will it be a statement piece of my collection? No, it will not be. Um, I feel like I've got better palettes and that's basically my review on it. If you do want to buy this, it is £15. It's actually not that bad. Some shades in this palette are, they're pretty. Like the pink and the black, they're good. The yellow, stunning. Like the yellow shimmer. 
but like there's just a few shades i'm a bit like i was upset about it not like that was the main problem i was upset that they didn't actually like completely work so i will be sitting down and i will be playing with it again and i will come back to you guys with a second video maybe of me giving it like a second chance and maybe then it might be better but right now it's not my favorite i'm gonna just put it in my drawer and maybe play with it in a few weeks and see what happens then thank you guys for watching this video even though it has been an absolute nightmare to film i enjoy making these videos and this proves that not all palettes are good not all palettes are going to be the palette that i will buy again the palette that i'll pay more for like i know on my channel recently everything's just been kind of like it's been good i've been loving the products like that's it but this also shows that i am allowed to not love a product and um, sadly this is one of them i quite like the look that i've created though like it is pretty it doesn't have an inner corner shade which that's one of my pet peeves like if you don't have an inner corner shade then what are you doing what are you doing like straight up thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up if you are not already subscribed please do subscribe and if you are subscribed and you want to see more of me please do hit the notification bell so then you guys know whenever i post basically so thank you guys for watching that's from me see ya bye